Hey friends, welcome to this new tutorial for automating manual tasks. In this series of videos, we will explore several tips to use Google Sheets to improve our productivity with no code methods. Today, we will start by exploring the functionality of Google Sheets to send API requests. An application programming interface, or API, is a way for two computers to communicate with each other. If you're not a developer, you may never have used one yourself. However, you can be sure that the apps you're using do. As it is a great way to get information automatically, I will share with you a method to use an API without coding using Google Sheets. We'll take an example of a free API that provides information about fruits. You send a query about a specific fruit and it gives you information about the family name, nutrition facts, and many other interesting parameters. Let's try this method. So, you have created your Google Sheets. You have put a table with, in the first column, the, lit the list of fruits where you want to have the information. And then you have created three additional columns to get the family, the fat, and the sugar. And you want to call the API to get the result. First, you need to create the address to call the API. So, you start with the address of the API. So fruitivice.com slash API slash fruit. And then you need to add the name of the fruit. If you go in the page, you will have this response. So this is JSON. Uh, and you need to pass this JSON to extract the family and the nutrition facts, fat and sugar. The problem is that we don't have a built-in function uh, in Google Sheets to parse the JSON. But the good news is someone created one. So first, you need to go to Extensions, App Script. You will open this window. There will be, uh, there will be some code here that you need to clear. And then you need to copy and paste this function. This function has been created by Pan Galbi, uh, Paul Gamble, and um, he has shared it in this GitHub repo. I will put the link in the description. The only thing you have to do is basically copy uh, this code, paste it here in this new uh, Google Sheet script, and name it importjson.js. And then you need to save it. You don't need to run it, you just need to save it. So when it's saved, if you come back here, so I will just cut this. If you type import, you have import JSON available. Then the first argument is the link. So the root plus the fruit name. And then you need to show what you need to ask what you want. So first you want the family. Mm -hmm. The second one is the nutrition fact. You want the fat. And the second one is the sugar. Um, then you need to specify a few options for the output. So for instance, you don't want the headers because you, this function is returning the headers, but we already have the headers here and you don't want to truncate the result. I think it should be good. So it's loading. So here we have a problem. Nutrition, nutrition should be good because it's returning only result, one result. Boom, it's returning the three results, so it's good. And now the only thing you have to do is to drag. As you can see, you need to make, to make sure that you have the correct syntax. If you put a space, it's not going to work. You only have one. Um, what are the problem? Yeah, if you made a mistake like I did, it's not working. But yeah, and now you're able. And if I add, I don't know, grapes. It should be good. Yeah, I hope it was clear enough. It's a very short tutorial, but now you are able with Google Sheets to connect to any API, extract the data without a single line of code.